A quick update about Brexit, which has always been way too cute a name for something so destructively stupid. It's like hearing your friend decided to shove a snake at what became known as his snass hole. No, <laughs> don't reward him with a portmanteau. He shouldn't have done that stupid thing. And, and, and I'm afraid, at this point, um, for you viewers in the UK, once again, you're going to have to get something different because the rest of the world is going to see a piece about Theresa May's provisional Brexit deal. But in that piece, there's going to be some parliamentary footage. And as we've discussed before on this show, it's against the law for a comedy programme to do that in the UK, which is, and this is true, fucking stupid. <laughs> now, obviously, that puts us in a little bit of a pickle. Uh, as this show now has a six-minute gap that we need to fill. You may remember last time uh, we ran into this exact same problem. We replaced the segment uh, with Gilbert Gottfried reading three-star Yelp reviews for restaurants in Boise, Idaho. Um, <laughs> well, don't, don't worry. I, I am not going to do that to you again. Because this time, Gilbert is going to be reading to you from Theresa May's 585-page <laughs> provisional agreement with the EU. Gilbert, my friend, take it away. Article 130, <laughs> specific arrangements relating to fishing opportunities as regards the fixing of fishing opportunities within the meaning of Article 43. <laughs> parentheses 3, close parentheses, <laughs> for any period falling within the transition period the United Kingdom shall be consulted in respect of fishing opportunities <laughs> related to the United Kingdom. You, you know what? You know what? This was a bad idea. Britain doesn't deserve this. I didn't realise it was going to be this bad when I originally made the decision to do this. But if we learn one thing from Brexit, it's that an entirely reversible decision cannot actually be reversed. So, Gilbert, please continue. <laughs> Market, the provisions of union law governing wholesale electricity markets listed in Annex 7 to this protocol shall apply under the conditions set out there into and in the United Kingdom in respect of Northern Ireland. Next. Article 12. You know what? You know what? You know what? Let, let's let smarter heads prevail here. Let's have a people's vote and have our audience choose between listening to Gilbert read this and listening to him read something a little bit more fun, like Bigfoot's erotica. So which is it to be? <laughs> the EU draft treaty? <laughs> oh, or, or the short work of Bigfoot erotica, Yeti Set Go? <laughs> I thought so. I thought so. Sadly... There cannot be a people's vote on this, so, Gilbert, please continue with Article 12. Article 12! <laughs> State aid the provisions of union law listed in Annex 8 to this protocol shall apply to the United Kingdom, including with regard to measures supporting the production of and trade in agricultural products in Northern Ireland. In respect of measures that affect that trade between the part of the territory of the United Kingdom to which regulation, parentheses, EU close, Parenthesis. No, I'm sorry, I, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. My people in England are suffering enough. Gilbert, tell them about the Bigfoot fucking. <laughs> Picture the scene. <laughs> I, a young, nubile, wildlife photographer. <laughs> Found myself lost deep in the woods, <laughs> face to face with the one they call Bigfoot. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's true what they say about <laughs> big feet. 
because standing before me was ha half man, half beast, his musk of moss and cedar hung in the air, his barrel chest heaved, and between his legs swung what I can only describe as a glistening furry forest log. Picture a mink biting an apple. My mouth instinctively dropped open in surprise. And if I'm honest, anticipation. <laughs> this is going to be the Loch Ness Monster all over again! OK, Gilbert, that's time. Change the law, UK, or you'll get chapter fucking two next time. <laughs>